Everyone, thanks for stopping by the Standards Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin. Behind the camera, we got Dylan. What's up? I'm going to be mixing up the format a little here. Going to get into some, uh, well, we'll just call them staff picks for the time being. And then uh, we're going to flip through some records. As always, if you see anything you like, you can DM us on Instagram. Uh, you can give the shop a ring or you can just come in. We are open at 11 to 8, seven days a week. All right. And so uh, with that, let's get into the staff picks. Just some week weekly highlights. I don't know. We're figuring it out. Anyways, uh, we got the new uh, Caspian catalog. I feel like we there's a couple others, but uh, from Dark Operatives, the homies. You know, you know what it is. Anyways, if you're a fan of uh, you know atmospheric, moody kind of music, there we go. Next up, Dylan. You know, this is this is this is your call, right? Yeah, uh, Pan Amsterdam. Uh, just I don't know what to call it. I don't want to call it like goofy rap, but it's like uh, it's a genre. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just <laughs> it's a cool record. Look him up yeah, on. it's uh, good. I just like the yeah. rap. Like, look up, look, his videos are amazing. Look yeah. him up on uh, YouTube. It's the the song I like a lot. Stuff. The song I like a lot is not on this record, but it features Iggy Pop, and the song is called Mobile. Uh, look that video up. It's really good. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this is a cool band, Calibro 35, uh, Theater Italian, uh, mostly instrumental, very, um, I guess, uh, cinematic, quasi-progressive rock, funk, um, yeah, it sound, I mean, it sounds like, whatever, so 70s soundtrack music, Goblin, stuff like that. Very cool records, and um, we just got their newest. We got their newest one in earlier this year, and that's what kind of turned me on to them. But this is, I want to say, their first one. Very good, Calibro 35 out of Italy. Check them out. Oh, another one of mine. Uh, some like modern G funk. Okay. Yeah, I believe this is like his first record, XO Middleton. Yeah. Um, when I go from metalcore to. Uh, there's people in the store. I just throw this on really quick. Yeah, good, new, good neutral, alkaline kind of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's really, it's really nice. Yeah, he's got a lot of records out, so yeah. always good to have him in the shop. And we got the, this in used. Um, this is a '70s press, so you could do a lot worse. Um, not obviously the the, the, the early six, the '60s press, which is a lot costlier. But you know, for a, for a nice to have an older pressing of it, that this is a good uh, budget option. You play this one a lot, yeah? Yeah, I've been playing it a lot since I saw it maybe last week. Yeah. Still surprised it lasted through the weekend, but yeah, I've been listening to it a lot today. It, it's uh, you know, does it ever, ever every bit deserving of its reputation yeah. as a classic. So uh, this is a left field one. I was not expecting to see this. The Overcast catalog got reissued. Um, you you've been like wiki diving on these guys. <laughs> this is like some shit from this is like my high school days or like middle school days even like ordering from the Very catalog. Shout out to the Very catalog. Anyways, like I feel like in its day there was like Overcast, Coalesce, Converge, and we were kind of talking about all of them on the same level. But maybe Overcast has been kind of a little as uh, not held their reputation as well as the others but i think that's unfair because in terms of musical quality great stuff good to see this stuff reissued and back on the floor and this is this is your world right here yeah uh i've been listening to this one a lot lately too if you're in the shop and you catch me listening to this um i don't know if i'm sorry oh i'm not sorry it's nice it's just like i don't know like glitchcore <laughs> I don't know, I enjoyed that kind of music a lot, and I don't know if anyone else is in the store. <laughs> They're so apologetic about it. <laughs> it's like, either you enjoy it and you think it's interesting, or you're just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, did I just catch someone listen to this alone? There we go. Like, yeah. really loud? So yeah, if you're just into <laughs> weird like... left, left to center electronic music. Yeah, there you go. For, for, uh, for adventurous ears only. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to be very adventurous to enjoy this. Some Trini Lopez. I don't know the year on this one. Maybe there's something on the back. 72. So uh, there's, it's kind of a hodgepodge. The album's not the most consistent, but there's like some very good, uh, like, almost like Santana-esque, like Latin rock grooves song, like certain songs and some more stuff that's more conventional Trini Lopez stuff. But just a real good, uh, feel good record, A+. plus. Uh, we got uh, some a uh, used one on. Speaking of like, order a lot of distros ordered from Sound Pollution. Rest in peace. Always love seeing their 
logo on anything. Played a, definitely bought a lot of records from them growing up. Uh, but yeah, Sticky Reissue, uh, pre-Spaz. I guess that's probably what people know them for. Another good, we got a hand, uh, very rarely do we get a, a handful of good used punk records that last more than a few hours, but we got this guy. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like the keyboards a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking about it, but like, <laughs> The mix is kind of weird. Yeah, exactly. It almost like, like it was an afterthought or something. Exactly, that's what I thought. And yeah. then, like, um, it's just, I don't know, being in high school, it made sense. And then, I don't know, eight years later, I'm listening to it again. I'm like, I don't think this makes any sense at all <laughs> in terms of music. In a good way. But anyways, yeah, yeah. OG Press on Alt Tentacles, and I think we got, oh, we got the inner baby. I know that. And uh, some some Who's Could Do, great record. If you hate bass, this is the record for you. It is all really? all treble. Yeah, it's like all treble. Oh. I don't know, something I've always noticed about that record. <laughs> um, some more good used old school classics. Jeez, very minimal graphics. Anyways, um, old Stiv Baders and Co. at it. So shocked we still got a lot of these. This is, uh, if you don't know, The Siren is a compilation of early three early Posh Boy releases, including, um, these are the great, that's the, the Red Cross one. That's probably what people are tuning into here, a real budget version of getting the first Red Cross EP. Um, very high quality, A+. Plus. This is it, this is it for me. This is, this is the Killing Joke record that made Killing Joke make sense to me. And oh, really? Yeah, Damn. like a, like officially, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, it is produced by Connie Plank. Am I tripping? Uh, yeah, produced by Killing Joke and Connie Plank. And that's sort of like, I don't know, solidified that like connection of like kraut rock and like repetitive grooves. And like, I was a big can. I was like, I, listened, I liked can a lot before I knew who Killing Joke was. And Full disclosure, I guess, I don't know. If, 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 I, I assume people know my background lore. I don't think they do. <laughs> Killing Joke's like my favorite band of all time. I like every single note of music they've recorded. I'm a total freak for them. And this was like my gateway into their catalog. And um, yeah, A plus record. Can't believe we still got it. Always recommended. Speaking of uh, Kraut Rock, um, very uh, kind of, uh, romantic and ballad -y in a Italian progressive rock way. I used that track, I think, as the as a jam of the day. That's the one to check out on. Uh, Which well, one? Don't worry. Auf, Aufbruch. Okay. Oh wait, why did I say Italian? I don't know. It's for, they're from Germany. It's Krautrock, obviously, on the, the great brain label. Um, yeah, that's a cool one. And uh, this I was playing a lot. Of, this is like a. This is not a, a hard. This is not like a rare record or anything, but it's one of those weird records you throw on and it just connects. Um, I'm, I'm like, it's a, a, a record guy phrase that I've heard thrown around a lot that I've never really like understood the meaning of is the phrase AOR. Was this adult or album oriented rock? Or a, it's either album oriented rock or adult oriented rock. That's how fucking off the reservation I am and I've never bothered with that stuff. But this record is like, oh, okay, that's, that's AOR. And I don't, still don't know how to explain it really, but it's making sense to me slowly. And uh, yeah, it's a very fine. This makes you feel like you're a you're a, a grown man in the '70s. <laughs> so, like some some Billy Joelish stuff, some Steely Danish tracks, a little all over the map style wise, but uh, just a uh, a a plus record. Some some very solid jams on here, and uh, this is a this is a solid jammer as well. Um, sh I think they're Cuban. I don't know much about the record. I'm not going to pretend to know much about the band, but very solid jams, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's that's it for staff picks. We'll get to the flip through now. Oh, you don't want to talk about that? No, we can talk about Coltrane in general, but... Every time I listen to A Love Supreme, when they start singing uh -huh. on that part, I just, in my head, because I always have it low enough when that part happens, mm -hmm. it just sounds like they're saying... I love Supreme. You're dumb. You're fucking dumb. God damn it. <laughs> Listening to that nonstop. Really? Yeah. It's like a mix of that and that Lauren Bouchfield record. It's a fucked up day, man. I know. And then Overcast. And then getting caught listening to Overcast and then turning it off. And then putting it back on the cold tree. <laughs> yeah, because you can't you really can't listen to like metalcore. Not in the shop. Not when there's people here. 
Yeah, around there was, people. Yeah, because like there'd just be times with no one inside, and then I'll yeah, put it on. It's good time. Yeah. It puts. It's like bad vibe music though, right? You yeah, I, I definitely put this mom in a bad vibe. I felt bad. Yeah, they walk in and you're just jun 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 jun. It's not even. Well, I don't know. It is. It's like the. It's like. If it's someone like I see often, and I'm sure they just right. get it by now, whatever. But... You don't think about these things as being. You, you, yeah, you think of it as not being that extreme of music. Yeah. But when you're, you don't realize how annoying it is to listen to until you listen to it around other people. Yeah, because then you feel bad, because yeah. it's like, man, fuck, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, oh, where, where am I? I yeah, no, I would like ideally, just all like yeah, new wave or like dance music latin music disco something like that where yeah. it's like everyone can enjoy it yeah but when you're in the mood to listen to something extreme and like just some regular folks come in it's like caught ya yeah i mean i'll turn it off i'll turn it off sometimes and like i'll wait for a song to end and yeah. then quickly turn off like get the needle off put like that xl middleton record but or coltrane at least then it's like okay i can't be mad at whatever's playing right now i'm only mad because there's some guy yelling at me <laughs> yeah just the yelly part that's maybe it's like the the riff like dun 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 with some guy yell singing at you but then you hear some guys going i love supreme yeah. let's talk about youtube comments because we did get a good we did we got a great uh, question um the homie black horizon asks question for you guys Favorite release of 2020. Also, and he's referring to the last week's vid. Electrocution is awesome. High energy death metal. That's what. That's a good phrase. I think I like that phrase a lot for for fast death metal. High energy death metal. I'm gonna start using that. I like it. Anyways, um, yeah. Where are you at for 2020 releases? Uh, three knee deep. The new Eco Strike. Drain. Um, that Lauren Bausfeld. Uh huh. And. Did your little 100 Gex remix come out this week? Or this I, I year? I can't remember anymore. I can't remember if that was earlier this year or later last See, year. See, that's the... I mean, for sure, 100%, I have just been, like, reverting into fetal position all year. <laughs> I yeah. think that's true for a lot of people. Yeah. We're all kind of, like, looking backwards more than we are. We're trying to avoid the moment as best as we possibly can. So, yeah, I'm not, like, the most... I have not been seeking out new music this year by any means, and I think that's true for a lot of people. And even like the mu like I would say for me, I'm going like if I'm if, like records that left a big impact enough for me to be able to like think about it off the top of my head would be the Three Knee Deep LP because I ran to that record a lot. That was a record that I would hit the track to and throw on. And um, uh, the new Subdued album they're called Subdued. Mm -hmm. I've had a I had like one copy come in the shop and then it sold and I need to get more um, but that record is amazing that was uh, kind of trending on um, old hardcore guy Instagram I guess <laughs> which yeah. if you know uh, that corner of Instagram you know it but uh, it was hyped up in from very specific people like that and um, and I, that can either that can go either way that can you know it could be good it could be bad but man that record blew me away it was like perfect like anti-system icons of filth like UK style hardcore, like anarcho hardcore, that record blew me away. That one and, and 3 Knee Deep. So yeah, even even when it comes to uh, new releases from new groups, it, I'm still like looking for familiar sounds because that's I think just an inescapable theme this year is regression. We you know, but this is just a reaction to these insane circumstances that we're all thrown in. And on that light, positive, bouncy note, <laughs> uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the YouTube comments. So if you have any other questions or anything you'd like to ask, hit those YouTube comments and we will address them in next week's video. And with that being said, thanks everyone for checking in and let us know how you like the new format. I'm confident in it. Bye. I love Supreme. You're dumb. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. God damn it.